for you too. Mm, guess what I've got? Finally. So, first of all, I don't know why they put the label on the back of the envelope, not the front. That was just weird. Anyway, that means I could. Whoops. Tossed it before. That means I could just reuse that envelope. Anyway. So, here we have it from. Bex. Complete Entertainment Exchange. Uh, Webuy.com. Um, this is obviously second hand, which <laughs> I got it for 50. And as you saw in the title, just then, <laughs> it is a Telluriza. Ever Darkness and the Secret Hideout. Interesting title. Anyway, so originally I was going to wait. When this came out, I was going to wait for the price to go down. And incidentally, it never went down, it just went up. So, after weeks or months of being, um, you know, scrummed to the uh, in stock waitlist notification waitlist whatever um i finally managed to be awake when i got this email in so i immediately bought it so whatever that is i guess it's quite handy they put the uh Some of the uh, setting thing, the uh, warnings or whatever, on the back of the uh, cover art to, I guess, save paper. Or they're just going to bother to print it off on new paper? I have no idea. But, this is a discard. And now I have this one, because I did buy a while ago. Part 2. This is the only Atelier game that has a part 2 that directly continues on from this, I believe. That's what it says. I like it's a proper, I guess. Well, like they're all, they all have their own storylines, but you know. But, as you know, I do collect the Atelier series, as well as the Tales of series, which I can't wait to get the uh, Tales of... Do I say Atelier series twice? Anyway, the Tales of, um, Tales of Arise. That's the next installment of the game series in that game series, and that one releases on the 10th of September. So I'm gonna wait a couple months so I can actually pre-order it. I'm not I'm not aiming for a uh, collector's edition or that other weird animal version. Uh, I'm just gonna get a standard, you know, so that's like 49.99 or something. So I'll just wait until few months pass and get it then. Like, normally sometimes, like, you'd, you'd think you'd get it a bit later because of the price drops. Cause like, for instance, Tales of Vesperia, the remastered one, is like 20? Or that's the uh, Tales of Vesperia. Anyway, normally you'd get pre-order for the pre-order bonus, which is different clothing items or something. Normally I wouldn't be too bothered about this, but this one, they cut white and black wings. So I'll be pre-ordering it. <laughs> anyway, back to this. Yeah. I'm excited to drink clean. And I can bother to turn on my PS4. <laughs> anyway, normally sometimes they have um little descriptions on the back. This one doesn't. Like you know little Anyway. It should be interesting. It should be for about 50 pounds. <laughs> anyway, it's annoying though that they put this on the case. That is super, super annoying. But luckily, it peels right off. It's 
slight sticky residue, right? Or that's just my nails. But, um, other than that, you can't really see it, can you? Very lovely. So, that's it. So, thank you for watching. I guess more. Really, don't for notifications. Um,